Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. And you might wonder what is going on here. It is the varnishing video. Any varnish. Now I'm going to be using this one tonight because it is very economical. And for those of you who are just starting out, it is absolutely fine to use this. Um, this, Gersonia, is a, um, it's good for indoor and outdoor use. So if your pieces are going outdoors, you might want to consider something like this. But for the most part, now this one is, a, they're both water-based. I always use water-based. Um, this one is crystal clear gloss, which I think that's what I have in here. And this one is a triple thick. I generally save this for my piggies, um, when, or for my, my pigments, when I'm mixing my pigments up and my Shelly Art stuff. So what I did was I took half water and half of the polycrylic, put it into a bottle. But that's it, folks. It's that easy. Now I'm going to go ahead, I don't want to use a whole lot of my Gersonia because I tend to use this also for my Shelly Art. So I am going to put half, not even going to, not going to fill the whole bottle up. Okay, I'm going to put, yeah, I guess I am, putting 30 mils, one ounce of the Gersonia and then one ounce of water. There we go, that's it. That's all I do for my solution. Now you don't wanna mix, you don't wanna be, um, you, obviously you need to mix it up, but you don't wanna shake it right before you put it on. So this one's been sitting for a while. If you wanna do anything to mix it, just tip it upside down like that. That is all you need. Now before we get started, I wanted to show you, this is one that has been done. And as you can see, there's no brush marks and that gold is sparkling. So I've done, I think two or three coats on this. The coats, it doesn't take any time to dry. I get these from the dollar store. Um, I've been using these all along. Um, what I do is I cut them. I cut them in quarters, just like this. Do, 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 do. Now, I have something tonight I wanna try, and it's brand new to me. So, um, if it works, fine. And I, cause I always like to try new things, guys. I, and you know, if it works, I wanna pass that along to you. So, I went to Harbor Freight. I was there picking up some other stuff. And um, I just happened to go by this area that had these terry covered staining pads. So I picked these up. I think it was like three bucks for all of these. So that's what these are. And I'm going to try to use this on, on some to see how that works out. Um, I'm going to make sure there's nothing on it. So these I've found work really, really well. And this one, now what you wanna to do too, before you get started, is get some wipes. It can be baby wipes, flushable wipes, whatever. And you wanna clean off your pieces just to make sure there's no dust or anything on it. You might get a little bit of transfer on your, um, actually that one has a coat on already. You might get a little transfer of pigment from the paint onto here, and this that didn't happen. That's good. Now these were, um, these pieces were the cloud pour, which are very matte anyways, you know? So putting a, a coat of varnish on it will really bring any color up. Go, just wipe, wipe, wipe. This one has a little boo-boo here. 
got banged or something. I don't know. Anyhow, so I'm going to actually take another one. And then there are some pieces that you might not want to varnish, but because the, 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 the finish came out real glossy like this one, but you do want to put a coat of something on here because you need to protect it. And there are some paints in here that are a little bit more matte. So I am going to do a coat on here as well. Cleaning it off, making sure there's no dust. I work out in my patio, so dust is definitely a possibility back here. So I make sure all the dust particles are off. So this is going to be so simple. You are going to just go, what? All right, this one has one coat on. If you could see that. This one has like two to three and it takes hardly any time to dry. So basically you put just a little bit down, that's it. And you could probably use this for a couple of, um, you just massage it, massage it in, circular motions, get the sides. Oh, I forgot. Gloves are probably something you, you want to put on. So this, as a matter of fact, let me put some gloves on. And being in a well-ventilated area is also a must. Yeah, bad Michelle. Michelle should have been putting her gloves on, but you know how I am with gloves. There we go. So this piece, I just did one little coat now I'm gonna do the same. This one's already gotten a coat. You can see the sheen on it. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna use this little pad and see how that goes. And it looks like it is going well. So just massage it in, do the sides, let it sit. Now this will be dry in about 15, 20 minutes and you can actually put another coat on. That's it. Now, let's see the Josonia. What did I do with the Josonia? I just had it, oh, here it is, knocked over. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the Josonia on this piece to see if there's any difference. Quite frankly, I don't see too much difference in a lot of the different, um, you can use Liquitex, you can use Golden, you can use anything you want. So I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. And we'll put another, now this one's bare. I'm going to put a little bit of Josonia on there. And like I said, see the Josonia is clear, clear, clear. And it's really good if this is going outside to have something like Josonia on it. So you just that's it. You don't have to do anything more than that. You don't want to go over it too many times. Now, I used your Sonia on here. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to use, oops. See how this is a lot more watery? The water helps it um, dry quicker. That's why you're able to, to do several coats. This is actually way too much. I shouldn't have put a second, you know. That's it. No brush marks. You let it sit for 15 minutes. And you come back and you massage it again. You know, I used to be a massage therapist. Um, I kind of gave up my license two years ago because I was doing a lot more flying. And um, I really liked doing that too, though. It was a lot of fun. Um, here we go. Just a very little bit. Two sides. This one's a deep edge. And that's it. So easy. Now I'm going to do the big one here.
Now, normally I'd have this sitting on <laughs> on my work surface, but I, for the sake of the video, I'm actually showing you guys up close and personal. Now, it looks like this is um, white here. It's getting bubbles or something. That will go away. It'll dissipate. There we go. Couldn't be easier. Yep. And this one, no, it's not quite dry yet. I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and we're going to put a second coat on. Back in a flash. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Now, these do not have a finish on them yet because they're really matte. So they're going. To, it's gonna take a couple of um, coats before this actually shows a sheen of any kind. Well, it's starting to show a sheen now. There we go. And that was 10 minutes in between. So I'm just gonna um, put this on real quick. Probably um, fast forward through this. And I've got enough of this um, varnish in this cloth. I will not need to put any more on. I can just wipe it with this. So you can put this in a um, in a, a Ziploc bag and use it again. But I wouldn't use it for. I wouldn't keep it there for like days and weeks on end. You know. Um, yeah. So anyhow. I'm going to give you guys a little break and then I'll come back.
All right, guys, I am going to show you the difference. This is uh, with the polyurethane. It does not have as much of a sheen, but I kind of like that, but it is protected. Now this was the Josonia, and I have to admit, it's much better. Um, it takes more coats for the polyurethane, the Verithane. Um, I haven't tried the Minwax because I don't have Minwax, but they did turn out quite nice. Now, um, yeah, the gold is really showing through here. Don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but oh man, it's pretty. And this is one that I had done before. So, and then I just added a coat of Josonia onto this one. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful, beautiful finish. And no brush marks. So I'm gonna put these aside and come back to you with a bigger piece. Okay, here it is. This one I did with um, Kathleen Osmore. We did a somewhat of a collaboration together. I got to pick the colors, and uh, yeah, her piece turned out so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm just gonna wipe this down, make sure all the dust is off of it. Yeah, I really like this piece too. love the colors. All right, so there's a little bit of dust on there. I don't know if you can tell. Eh. This is going to look so nice. I'm not actually going to do Josonia on this one. And I have to paint tonight. I just can't not. <laughs> so I'll give it a minute. Um, if you guys have any questions about varnishing, about paints, about mixing, about anything, please put them in the comments. I'm here for you. Um, yeah, and I, I get back to you guys pretty quick too. So um, here is this staining pad, which I'm finding works pretty good. So this is the Josonia. I'm just going to put a little bit down and going to wipe it. Massage it in, circular motion. You don't want to stay on it too long. Do the sides, let it be, come back to it in about 15 minutes and do another coat. And that's it, guys, that's it. It's already a sheen to it. Um, yeah, the Gessonia is nicer. But um, any kind of um, gloss, um, varnish is good uh, for these so um, and you mix it half and half with water and um, that's it and just massage it on you know um, when I, when you're doing a huge piece you want to do it in sections and it's going to take more than one coat to get it all um, cohesive so yeah and if you miss a spot like I did there you really shouldn't <laughs> go over it like I just did. Just wait until the second coat and then just go ahead and do it then. So that is my varnish video, guys. And um, it's easy peasy, very, um, you know, you get a whole bunch of pieces done all in one day. So I'll be back in a moment after I do a second coat of this and then we'll be done. Okay, here comes another coat, guys. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this time. Okay, 
Hey guys, so here's the results. These pieces turned out beautiful, all of them. Um, they have a beautiful sheen to them and no brush marks whatsoever. So I just wanted to give you guys a look-see at all these. Now this is the one I did with the uh, just Sonia. And I have to admit, I did the last coat of this with just Sonia, but then the last coat of this one I did with the polycrylic. And because it was seeming to be a little bit matte to me with the Josonia, so, and vice versa for the other ones. So you can mix them up, it's not a problem. Um, this turned out beautiful, I'm so happy with that. And so did this one. So there's my video on how to varnish your pieces without brush marks. I uh, hope this was informative to you, and I hope to see you guys soon. Please be safe and create. Please like, subscribe, and share. Ciao for now.